the pre-colonial period. This is the caveman type that first reached the island. Their fossil relics were found in Pangasinan and the Cagayan Valley as well as the Tabon Cave in Palawan. The Aitas or Negritos are the origins of the Philippines. They were called Negritos by the Spaniards at the time of the rain in the Philippines because of their darker skin color. They are the next group to reach the islands using land bridges. They hunted and fished using crude stone tools. Their descendants presently live in the mountains and forests of Bataan, Zambales, Nueva Ecija, Bulacan, Palawan, Mindoro, and some remote areas in Mindanao. They don't have social rules and live according to their ancient customs, which is most evident in the way they dress. The Malays are the brown race. They are the last to arrive in the island. They came from the Malay Peninsula, Sumatra, Java, and Borneo by water route on board sailing boats called Balangais. Three successive waves of Malay migration took place. They are far more advanced in culture compared to earlier migrants. They started the Iron Age culture in the island. The Paleolithic period, the era of crude tools and weapons. In this era, man's principal way of adaptation to the environment is by hunting. Stone tools were used for smashing the bones of animals and shellfish that they have gathered. Conceived or kinilaw is the method they used in preparing their food. During this age, people were able to produce fire by rubbing two smooth surfaces of polished stones. Hence, light and heat became available. The most outstanding feature of the Paleolithic period was the evolution of the human species from an ape-like creature to true Homo sapiens. This development was exceedingly slow and continued through the three successive divisions of the period, the Lower, Middle, and Upper Paleolithic. The Neolithic period, also known as the Agricultural Revolution, Upland farming has been developed, but this practice did not appear at the same time in every area. Fire eventually changed the lifestyle of the people, particularly in preparation of their meals. They now know how to grill and boil. Humans were still using stone tools, but they had started to settle in permanent encampments. The Neolithic period was marked by a transition from a hunting and gathering culture to a solid farming one. This transition allowed people to create permanent towns and villages. Early Metal Age The Early Metal Age is the time in the development of human culture where tools and weapons were made of metal which gradually replaced stone tools. Two of these metals were copper and bronze. Copper is the first metal to be fashioned into ornaments and pounded into tools. Bronze is the second metal it is made of imported tin and copper. The Iron Age Here, iron improved as the major technological device for exploiting the environment. As the use of iron became widespread, community specialization emerged as shown by the advance in tin smiting, jewelry making, and utilization of resources. Early Filipinos made metal implements like knives, sumbak, and gongs to mark the hours of the day and night. Village Dance Tingian dances are performed today in a variety of costumes during ceremonial occasions. Nose Flute The nose flute, called Kulaleng, is played by Tingian males during courtship, as do their neighbors in the Cordillera. Rice Pounding In many cultures, as among the Tingian, a daily chore can become a ceremonial ritual with chant and dance movements. This is a series of beads. It is a form of an award given to those par who partake in different wars against other tribes. The Ifugao. The word Ifugao refers to the people, the dialect they speak, and the province they live in. They are known as an independent agricultural society. 
They speak various Ifugao dialects, namely Tuali and Ayangan. The general term for the G-string the men wear is Wano, which for the Ifugao of Central Kiangan can come in two types, the Binuklan and the Mayad. The Mayad is used by boys and young men, even for the young at heart. The Binuklan, meanwhile, can come in various shades but usually follows a certain design. The females, meanwhile, have the Ampuyo, a general term for skirt, which comes in several types, Ginalitget, Ginalit, or Intinlo, Bayaung, Gamit, or Dinalul. These differ in the design of or pattern and color as well as the stature of the women, women wearing them. The Banawi rice terraces has been described as the eighth wonder of the world. It was carved out of the hillside by Ifugao tribes people 2,000 to 3,000 years ago without the aid of machinery.